and the Kealaike scholars for presenting the Oli. In the Hawaiian tradition of aloha, we offer you a gift, a welcome chant titled Halau Pu'uloa. It speaks of the beauty and abundance of our lands of Waiava and the harbor of Pu'uloa upon which Leeward Community College sits. The area possessed fish ponds teeming with marine life and natural springs that fed the lush vegetation that Eva is known for. It tells us of the refreshing winds that cool and the guardian of the bay who protects. This oli extends all the riches of Pu'uloa to you as we invite you into our home. At this time, I would like to welcome Chelsea Yamashiro, a Leeward alum and former student government president who will be singing Hawaii Pono'i. Ha 
a wonderful rendition of Hawaii Pono'i. Thank you, Chelsea. On behalf of the University of Hawaii Board of Regents, the university leadership, and the Leeward Community College faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome you to your 2021 commencement ceremony. Although we are still unable to celebrate in, in our traditional way, we have prepared a hybrid ceremony to let you know how much we want to celebrate with you, your success, and your future. As I reflect on my own academic path, I often come to the realization of how much support I had from family, friends, and the people that I to date still consider my mentors, my advisors, and those that inspired me to make the moves that I made. I can still see my mother's face on my graduation day and how it seemed like my achievement was valued by her a lot more than I valued it myself. Please take some time to acknowledge those special people that supported you during your journey. They deserve some of this recognition. I can say that while I may have not gotten emotional during my own graduation, I am already preparing for when my kids make it to the finish line. You came through and completed something that many attempt but few complete, your academic credential. Whether your, your, your path is to continue in your academic journey, go directly to work, or take a break, we are proud of adding you to the Leeward Community College list of alumni. I am sure that you will represent us well. We pride ourselves in working together to nurture and inspire students, in helping you attain your goals, and in fostering students to become responsible global citizens. Apply what you've learned to real life challenges. We are confident that you are prepared to contribute to your family and your community as a productive citizen. In the words of Maya Angelou, you may encounter many defeats, but we must never be defeated. Graduates, you persevered amidst the adversity and curveballs tossed by a COVID pandemic. You made it to the finish line. You have all it takes to succeed in anything you set your mind to. You can be proud of your accomplishments. We certainly are. Today is your day. At this time, I would like to introduce our first student speaker, Gabriel Mendoca. Gabriel is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society and the Dean's List. He is honored and grateful to be graduating from Leeward Community College with an associate's degree in liberal arts. He is born and raised on Oahu and is a graduate of Nanakuli High School, class of 2013. Today, he will be the first male in his family to graduate from college. Gabriel will start his next journey to pursue a chiropractic degree at Palmer School of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa. While he has not been away from Hawaii for an extended period of time, he is excited to take the next step toward not only changing his life, but the lives of others. Gabriel? It was my sophomore year in high school the start of my academic downfall. My absences from class had rapidly increased as the year went on. This became the norm for me. It was a shock to my teachers and classmates when I actually did show up to class. This routine of missing school followed into my junior year. I consider that year to be the worst year of high school. I remember the turning point. It was halfway through the school year and I decided to make one of my rare appearances. I entered the classroom with no backpack, no books, and no pencil. After all, there was no reason for me to need these things anymore. The teacher walked around handing out worksheets one by one until he got to me. He paused, retaining the paper in his hand. He looked me in the eyes and asked me, why are you here, Gabriel? What's the point anymore? I was upset and offended, but not because he asked a rude and demeaning question, 
but because the answer to his question was that there was no point. I was wasting the time of teachers and staff. I got up from my chair and did not return to school that year. So why am I telling you this story? Is it for your sympathy? No. In fact, it's to teach a valuable lesson, one that many of us, including myself, can easily miss. It would have prevented me from standing here today with my fellow graduates of 2021. You see, the story, it did not end there. Yes, I did walk away that day and even accepted that I was a failure. But that was the first of many great lies that I would tell myself. If I were a failure, I would have never attended summer school that year and begged my teachers to allow me to catch up, even though they certainly did not owe me anything. If I were a failure, I would have never attended college at the age of 22, even though I insisted to myself that I was too old and that it was too late. I would have never taken that entrance exam, even though I was sure that I was too stupid. I would have never taken that accelerated English class, even after I was told that if I did, that I would fail. If I were a failure, I would have never applied to chiropractic school and got accepted. We as people tend to tell ourselves lies because it is often easier to believe a lie than it is to face the truth that we are capable of more than we can even imagine. I almost believed the lies I conjured up. But the truth is that we're not defined by any single moment. Instead, we are defined by a culmination of moments, both bright and dull. We are not a coward because we refuse to jump. We are brave because eventually we find the courage to take that leap despite not knowing where we will land. We are not weak because we choose to walk away. We are strong because we return with the strength to face any obstacle that comes our way. And finally, we are not a failure because we get knocked off our path. We are victorious because no matter how thick the darkness and fog can get, we keep reaching out and moving forward until we find that light at the end of the tunnel. I would like to take this time to congratulate all the graduates of 2021 because we made it through a tough year of distant learning and endless Zoom meetings. So let's take today and celebrate with joy and appreciation because we proved to everyone and ourselves that we can persevere. Thank you. Wasn't that something? Thank you, Gabriel. I have now the privilege of presenting our second speaker. Her name is Destiny Rose Bataya. Destiny is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society, Honors Program, the Dean's List, and is the co-president of the French Club. She is grateful to graduate from Leeward with an associate's degree in liberal arts as she becomes the first in her family to continue on her studies at the University of Hawaii at Manoa Social Work Program. Destiny's goal as a future social worker is to help children and families get the support they need in Hawaii to help better children's future by putting the child's need first. As Destiny takes this step in her journey, she wants to give a big maruru roa to her parents, family, and friends for always being by her side and being her support system when she needs it the most. Destiny? Aloha Leary Community College, class of 2021. My name is Destiny Rose Bataya, and I'm excited to be speaking with you all today. When I first entered college, I was not prepared for the independence, 
knowledge, and experiences school would bestow upon me. As many of my fellow graduates understand, I was a high schooler that used to believe that college was scary. What a shift in realities, because here I am today, speaking in front of you with an associate's degree under my belt, going towards my bachelor's. At Leeward, I have met so many amazing people that have affected my life, including the outstanding professors, helpful staff, and we can never forget the punctual coffee makers of the cafe who are always there when we need to pick me up throughout the day. I've never drank so much coffee until I became a college student. I now understand why coffee is such an essential part of adulthood as it makes a stressed out person happier and more friendly when interacting with others. Going forth through college with the help of two cups of frappuccinos I had in the mornings, I was ready to encounter whatever life threw at me. Then the pandemic pounded me to the ground like a wave when you're turning your back to the sea. This is where our limits were tested and our devotion to getting where we are today was challenged. I cannot lie, there were times when I wanted to quit, watch Netflix and the K-dramas all day, and work instead of doing my homework. There were also times where I was so distracted by my stress that I lost motivation to continue in my studies. I think we can agree that this pandemic has affected us all in one way or another. Often our education seems less important than trying to remain healthy, alive, and to support our families. But here we are today. We pushed through this pandemic with every ounce of strength that we had. We adapted to the changes from in-person learning to a full virtual education. For me, that was the hardest part, trying to stay focused on my work instead of what was going on around me. I didn't have the instructor staring right at my face as they taught the lessons, as I would have in a physical class. And I didn't have students around to motivate me. I had myself, and that was the most challenging part. Though these changes were drastic, I think the thing that drove us the most was our sense of our future being right there in front of us, ready to be taken. So to the future chefs, teachers, social workers, auto mechanics, and those with other career choices, we have passed this little bump in the road. And now we're off to face the next challenges that will come to us. I want us all to remember what happened in our past is our past. And therefore, instead of lingering on the I should have, I could have, and I would have, Let's live in the I have, I did, and I will. Now on behalf of the class of 2021, thank you to those who have supported us in our goals and our education. Thank you to those, to those who have believed in us and helped us push past the barriers that are put in front of us. Fellow graduates, mahalo for the journeys we have taken on together and for the future we're about to embark on. Congratulations, we've made it. Wow, wasn't that inspiring? Thank you for that, Destiny. In closing, I'd like to share another Maya Angelou quote. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Graduates, let's carry out our missions with passion, compassion, some humor, and some style. I'm confident you'll do us proud. Congratulations.